the audio. So this was recorded in 1969 yep. at Woodstock. Is that right? In LA. LA. Oh, oh, in LA. In LA, yeah. Uh-huh. So you yeah. decided not to go to Woodstock to to record this instead? Is that what you're saying? Well, no. We were doing some things out there with a house band for the Temple of the Rainbow. So, right. And there were more festivals out there that I was attending, actually. Right. You know, with yeah. Love and Hendrix and everybody. So Janis Joplin. So there was no need to run back to... Now, have you jammed with any of those cats, like Hendrix and Joplin? Um, and some of Joplin's and, people. Yeah. Uh, Steppenwolf. Uh, I lived with the bass player from Steppenwolf for years. Uh-huh. And um, that was that was a what blast too. What happened to the music? We decided to just cut it. Well, it, it goes. It goes to a slow part. Oh. Uh, which it's not okay. quite. Uh, All right. Wrapped up yet? Well, yeah, I do have one more. This kind of a little bit of a twist of interest. Let's hear it. All right. Okay. Here we go. Uh, on the other CD, this is number three complete. It's only about a minute and a half, anyway. Oh, good. If you can just go straight we, to track like 11. Short songs. Yeah. F- f- and especially this one's kind of interesting. 11. 11 again. Again, 11? Yeah, strange, right? 11, 11, right? 11, 11. I know, man. I don't know what happened. I like that. But I think you'll find this kind of novel. One, two, three, four. Oh, the violin player. Flight of the Bumblebee. Wow, the bee. Is this 69 again? 1969? Close, 70 something. This is the guy that lives in Boston now? Yes. Who, who wrote this, yes. Flight of the Bumblebee? Uh, I'm not sure. It's an old classical piece, but right. uh, I'm not certain of I the bet author. I Triple X Jess knows. But, uh, Jess, can you type in and tell us who wrote Flight of the Bum- Bumblebee? Or if anybody else knows. If not, that's fine also. <laughs> you can get a lifeline and call in. Uh, question <laughs> <laughs> Schubert Schubert like the piano is that, is that what Jess said Schubert Schubert now we know I guess you don't need to get uh, licensing from Schubert. No, not at this point. <laughs> <laughs> so many years, I think he's... Maybe we should cover it. <laughs> he's, probably, he's probably happy. Yeah, exactly. Let's do anything from Schubert. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, put a beat to it, you know? Yeah. The irony of it is he doesn't miss a note. you, you yeah. got to love Larry, man. When he practices so hard. He practices every day. I remember like 3, 4 in the morning, he'd be doing scales. You know, it's like, wow, that's awesome. Uh, he, he's really good. Good that's violinist. Amazing. But amazing. Um, wow. And here's the fly right here. Ah, uh, who is it? Horsakov. Horsakov. Uh-huh. Horsakov. Korsakov. Yeah, Nikolai Rimsky Korsakov. There you that's go. That's who wrote that. You are hot, girl. Who, who, to- who told us that? Yes. Who? Oh, Jess said that. Yeah. Oh no, Bert. Bert. Um, Bert. <laughs> Bert. <laughs> Big Bert or what? What happened? All right, I think I think <laughs> it's time to bring in Natasha because um. Let's do it. This yeah. is a friend of yours. Hey, absolutely, we've been friends for and since back in L.A. Wow. Listen, do you want to just throw that pretzel excessive. away or you want to just continue to ho- sit there and hold it like a cigar? It's up to you. I kind of like it. Like okay, you got it. Yeah. You got it. So please, introduce yourself. Yeah. Hi, I'm Natasha, and um, many of you will remember me as a punk designer. I had a store in St. Mark's Place, and um, I started my punk designing career at a I store called it. Revenge. I remember your store. You remember my store? I do. Uh huh. I have a shirt from that store. Really? Oh, with that's safety pins all over it. Oh, great. Okay. Is that was it down on the left, walking? <laughs> it was. It was right across the street from Trash I know, Broadville. but it wasn't Enzes. It was da- right uh, next door to Enzes. It was that yeah. other store. It, no, well, it was before Enzes. Okay. It was before. What was the name of it? Natasha. Oh, it was Natasha. When, when yeah. did you start yeah. this store, Natasha? Well, actually, uh, in the late 70s, like 77, I started at a store called Revenge, Uh um, where it was a really deviant um, punk store with like six 
girls who called themselves the Revenge Girls, and we were out and about every night huh. on the scene, Max's, CB's, getting in fights and starting wow. trouble, and we were really Revenge Girls. And um, I left there and went on to, moved over to St. Mark's Place. They were right on 3rd Avenue and St. Mark's, and I moved to St. Mark's Place. And when it was in the cool days. Mm-hmm. When it was in the cool days, yeah. And... Um, and I, I I managed to get a lot of publicity back then and uh, did a lot of shows and was doing, you know, local musicians and, you know, people, you know, videos like Pat Benatar and um, and um, Tina Turner and, you know, and the local musicians, too. And at that time, I did Joey Ramone's Leather Jacket. Debbie Harry modeled some of my things. And um, Sessu and I have known each other for years. Actually, I was going with the um, guitar player from the Magic Champs ah, for many years. Wow, so you guys do go way back. Yeah, I've got some history. Yeah. How cool is that? And you're yeah. still friends and friends yeah. each other. I we, like we ran into each other three years ago oh. and, and just said, hey, oh my God. Isn't life great like that? Yeah. I love yeah. that. You yeah. never know who's coming back. I right. know. 